Hello everyone, my name is PJ and welcome back to my blind let's play of Fantasy Star and the Sega Master System Part 2. Okay, a few things. It is really hot today. I don't know why it's so hot. It's only May. But I got both my windows open and my fan is on, so if you hear any wind, I'm sorry, there's nothing I can do about it. Look, I just put this, I just put this shirt on and it's already sweaty. Just put it on. <laughs> but anyway. Some good news and some bad news. The bad news, apart from everything I just said, this emulator, I'm using Fusion by the way, it's an amazing emulator that emulates five different Sega consoles. It's amazing. But for some reason, Master System games don't save properly. And I can't make quick saves. So I have to use hard save states. Luckily, I thought to do so before turning the emulator off yesterday, so I didn't lose anything. Thank god. Okay. The good news is that I did some level grinding, and I may have gotten a bit further than I expected, because... Look at that. What level am I? Ah, uh, crap. <laughs> but, yeah, I started getting MP from leveling. I'm level 5 now. And that seems like a lot of experience compared to yesterday. Uh, I got it in like no time. Because as soon as I had enough money to upgrade my sword to the iron sword, I started crushing everything. I can two shot the scorpions, I can one shot most other enemies, I can three or four shot green slimes. The best thing to fight for money at this point in the game, by the way, is scorpions. That they drop a lot of money. But, oh boy, I'm so powerful now. And uh, I actually have MP, and I learned a couple of spells, too. So, why can't I move my cursor? Oh, right, because I'm in this menu. Okay, I have two spells. Heal and Buy. Yeah, I know, it's a silly name. But Heal... Right, both of these spells cost 2 MP, from what I can see. Uh, heal heals me by, like, 20 HP-ish. And Buy lets me escape from battle. But not right away. Sometimes enemies will hit me before I can escape. Uh, let's see, I've been buying cola regularly. Uh, I bought a transer just in case I need to teleport out of the dungeon. And a flashlight. You know, because you need a flashlight every time you enter a dark dungeon because it does consume it. From what I can tell, it lasts for the entire duration of the dungeon until you leave. Then you have to go buy another one. Okay, so. I have an extra 200 mesetas on me, and I'm going to see what the hell this secrets thing is. And if it's nothing, then I'm just going to load my save. I don't know who told you that. You would best forget it. He kicked me out? <laughs> okay, so, huh, I guess I can't buy it yet, and uh, it's probably important. Uh, hmm, interesting. Okay, well, also, somebody told me, oh, they did tell me, I don't know why I replied to their comment, but now it's gone. According to my video manager, it still says the video has a comment on it, but it's not visible. I can't see it. It's, it's weird. I sent them a message about it, asking them if they deleted it, but wh whatever. They said that I was going to need to draw maps of dungeons for this game. So I got out some graph paper that I just got, and I started drawing what little of the first dungeon I've explored. I don't know how well you can see that. Oh yeah, I went back in, I mapped out what little of the dungeon I'd seen already, and today we're going to be exploring the rest of it. Yeah, because this game really does feel like shining in the darkness. You gotta beat the first dungeon by yourself, by just level grinding and upgrading your gear, and then you get your party members. Yeah, watch this. One hit, dead. Also, I've come to find that most treasure chests aren't trapped, but there is still a chance of pretty much any chest being trapped. I've had the weakest enemies in the game drop trapped treasure chests. I've seen them. 
uh, arrows shoot out and hurt one party member, or an explosion can occur which hurts all party members, which doesn't affect me much at this point in the game. I'm going to go back to my... I, I don't know who that person is. Her name is Swelo, I remember that. The one who lets me stay in her house for free. Yeah, scorpions give 13 mesitas. It's the most anything drops at this point. Yeah, I don't know if you're my girlfriend, or my aunt, or my cousin, or whatever. Let's head down to Medusa's cave once again. Oh, these things I also ran into. These things appeared in the artwork that I used as reference, alongside a couple of other monsters. These are weird one-eyed things that cry as their attack. I don't really get them. Yeah, that's, that's weird. Also, I can dodge. I didn't know that until I was grinding last night. Okay, here we are. Can I go forward? Just push black? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Flashlight. And here we go again. Now I can follow my map to the places I haven't explored yet. Two green slimes. <sighs> I should probably just kill them. I have a transfer. I can use it to get out. Really wish Alice would automatically target the thing with the least hit points. There, one's dead. See how much faster this goes, and all because I upgraded her weapon once. Ah, exploding chest. That did quite a bit, actually. Heal. Okay, going to my map, there are a few different places down here I can go. Yeah, there's a fork in the road right here. So let's see where these take me. Oh boy. Um Okay, I think I know where these where this all is. Yeah, those are connected. And then there's a hallway that goes down here. Which probably just connects to, yeah, that other long hallway. Okay, so it all funnels into pretty much the same place. Yeah, but down that hallway uh, is the really long hallway that ends in the treasure chest. So, this is the only direction we have not gone. So let's see what's this way. Oh, it's a dead end, I wonder. What's here? Wing I had a treasure chest. Six mesitas. Oh! That's Odin, isn't it? Oh, he's been petrified by Medusa. Okay, so I think I know what to do. The Laconian pot. Uh, the manual said that this was important to Meow. I think the medicine that he was carrying around his neck, I think that's this. I think it's meant for curing petrification. Alice uses the Laconian pot. So much for that theory. Uh, search? It seems to be a man who has been turned to stone. I wonder if he can be returned to his original form. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Well, I found Odin. Now what? Odin. So, is that it? Is that the entire cave? No second floor? Oh, oh, come on. Yeah, I didn't want to do that. It, the controls in this game are so weird. There's only two buttons. That's probably why. Just when I thought I'd got this game figured out. Maybe there's a treasure chest in a spot that I haven't directly walked into. Maybe? No. Okay. I've explored this place to its fullest. 
the only thing left to do now is leave. And I can do that easiest by walking backwards. I also notice that the encounter rate seems to significantly drop as your level increases. Not outside, but definitely inside. Okay, let's go rest up. I need to buy another flashlight for when I inevitably return there. And now I need to figure out what the fuck to do next. Okay, so the Laconian pot doesn't contain the anti-petrification medicine. Then Meow must have it on him still. So where did Meow go? I thought they were together. Why didn't Meow just cure him? Well, how about this? How about we stop dicking around and actually explore a little bit? Eh, I'm level 6. I learned another spell. Wow. You level so fast. You don't even think about how much experience you need to level. You just, you just do it. Which seems so odd compared to the beginning of the game. Huh. So what did I learn? Chet. Let me open up the manual. Chet. Used by Alice. Allows her to understand some master's languages. Okay, some monsters like... Like what, though? What can I talk to? Probably not scorpions or swarms. I guess they're just bugs, right? Uh, let me just test it. Alice and Swarm cannot understand each other. Okay. Okay, so what's up here? That's a shore. Is there a shore map with shore enemies? Ooh, interesting. <gasps> what the fuck? 62? Oh my god. I can't fight that. Nobody told me that the shore enemies would be... At least I can run. Let's uh, get off of the sand, shall we? <laughs> oh dear. This game does not fuck around. Uh, God damn it. Fishman blocks any of a tree. Well, they don't do that much damage. Maybe I can fight them. No. Run. Well, I can't run. Uh, oh, right, I have the buy spell. I can use that if this doesn't work. Chat. Why not? It's a humanoid! Do you think it'd have some kind of intelligence? Fine. Bye spell. Well, I walked all the way around the town. Fruitlessly. Okay, so clearly... West around the town is not where I'm supposed to go. Well, let me go rest up first. Ah, God damn it. Okay. Round two, exploration. Okay, you come up here. There's some rocks, which I'm guessing you're supposed to rip. Really? I think there's quite a bit of damage. Compared to everything else that is. I can totally finish this off if I just use all of my resources. Alice is- oh god, the thing actually has a chance of paralyzing me? I should have known. I didn't actually know this game had status effects. Hmm. Okay, time to start healing. in the world map change based on my level, or is it just because I'm in the tall grass? Because I was walking to the tall grass yesterday, and I didn't run into anything like this. T 
10, only 10 experience points. Treasure chest, yes. Fifty-one resetas. Oh my, uh... Affording the next best armor might not be so... Oh, out there anymore. Um, let's step out of the tall grass first, shall we? Yeah, there we go. Now what's up there beyond that? And what's this? Some kind of lookout? No, it's a dungeon. Right? Oh, it's locked. There doesn't seem to be anything special about it. Hmm. Well, I guess I need a key of some kind. I'm not going into that beach. Okay, so what's the next cheapest piece of equipment? I think I, I got the light suit already. So... I did, I did get the light suit, right? Uh, yeah, I did. Okay. What I really need is an upgrade to my shield. It's the first shield I bought. And there's no way I'm gonna be able to afford a better weapon. May I say it does? What is that from? Oh, right, I remember now. Um... <laughs> Uh, the one hyena from the Lion King. God, what's his name? Banzai. Yeah. Uh, Banzai, uh, said... No, no, he said Kepasa. Who, who was it that said Pesetas? Really fast and high-pitched, like... I forget. No, it's from something. Okay, let's go check out the armory. Iron shield. I need 520. Okay. So, I have a monetary goal. Well, I healed up. Uh, let's continue to look around. Because I know there's some other places that I can go. Dungeons and whatnot. So, I can't buy the secrets. So, that's not what I'm supposed to do. Yeah, owlbears take a really long time to kill. But they don't give much XP or money. Well, one owlbear doesn't take long to kill, but... Two is just annoying. Are you kidding? Two, two! Run. Oh, this is tall grass. Uh, I better get out of there. Okay, this is pissing me off. Why is the encounter rate so high? There, let's go this way. Ooh, another cave. Okay, so, what do my notes say about this cave? Iyala Cave, in the peninsula south of Science. That's where I am, Iyala Cave. Time to start drawing a new map. Item, flashlight. What the? I'm immediately confronted with a locked door. Are you kidding? <sighs> Which means I just wasted my flashlight. I'm running out of places to go! Okay, so... There's a place in the north with a locked door. The cave to the east has a locked door. I can't do anything with Odin's petrified corpse. So let's try going south. Sure there's a lot of tall grass down here. God damn it, one step. Well, at least I can run. It seems like the chances of running into an encounter uh, running into an encounter are much higher when you step into a new terrain type. Ooh, a village! The path in the woods is unclear. Ah, this is Epi Forest, isn't it? Yeah. I need the compass. 
So where do I get the compass? Where do I find Meow? Where do I get the road pass? Why can't I buy the secrets? What do I do? I've been recording for almost half an hour. The only progress I've made is finding Odin's statue. Let's... Do I have enough money for the new shield yet? Yes, yes I do. Item. Iron shield, equip. Now this equips iron shield. Excellent. Now I'll sell the original shield. Sell. Leather shield. Okay. Let's try searching east of that village in the forest. So, more southeast. Uh, that's it down there. Vamp! Yeah, this is out of my league. I am so lost. It feels like I'm still in the prelude. Hmm. Here we go. Okay, I found a new place. <sighs> Have I heard of this place? Nala Cave, north coast of Baya Malay, which is a hill to the north of Sion. Is this that place? How if I know? Well, it's a new dungeon. So, let me just make a quick save. Oh, come on. As long as I don't turn off the emulator, these saves work. That's why that save is still there, because it came with the save state. Okay. Of course it's pitch black. Flashlight. Here we go, okay. <sighs> Let's see, I'll start us right here. No. No. Everywhere I go is locked doors. I have no way to get the key. I have no way to get the compass. I have no idea where Meow is. I think he might be on another planet. What hints haven't I used yet? Okay. I'm gonna go back to the starting towns. There's one more thing I want to check out. And if this lead ends up being a dead end, I'm just gonna look up what I have to do. Because this is ridiculous. I've been everywhere, I have tried everything. Uh, I can't end the level. See, I don't think I'm supposed to be this high of a level. But I just, I'm just gaining this much experience because it's making me wander around aimlessly. Find the fucking flashlight, because the game keeps making me waste mine. Dead in dungeon beginnings. Okay, there's one last hint that I got from the townspeople. Is this town down here? This is the town of Perilet. Now, I was told... No, I don't want to enter it. Come on. I was told that to the west of Perilet, is an underground passage to the Gothic Forest. Now, is it talking about maybe one of those trees?
I hope that I'm not being led astray by a mistranslation. Yeah. Underground passage to Gothic Forest west of Perilid. Now, did I write that down correctly though, I'm wondering? I think you're the one who gave me the information. There is an underground passage to the Gothic Forest somewhere to the west of Perilid. That's this place. Okay, so let's go around to the west side of Perilid. Okay, we're starting this spot. Search. Search. Well, I'm 40 minutes into this video. I am not ending it on a note like this. I have to look up to see what to do. I'll never make progress at this rate. I'll just keep gaining levels and never making progress. Are you fucking kidding me? You want to know what you have to do? First, I need to save up a bit of money. Isn't that great? So, I'll be right back as soon as I have enough, okay? Okay, I got the money. Remember the guy with the secrets? The guy that we tried buying the secrets from? At the very start of this episode? The guy who wouldn't let us buy them? Buy secrets. I tell you, no one can do. Go on back to wherever you came from. See? Different dialogue. Go back in. All right, all right, I give up. So do I. What the hell? There was no indication that you were supposed to do that. It's like, it's specifically designed to make you wander around and exhaust every possibility until you decide that maybe you should try buying the unviable item again. Wow. Okay. Now, if there was an NPC who said something like, maybe you should pressure the guy a little bit or something, I don't know. But don't tell anyone where you got this, okay? And look, it's the road pass. Now, we can make progress. After all this time, <sighs> Let me rest up here, and now we can finally go to the spaceport. You may proceed. <sighs> you- oh, don't put me back on the- I just wanted to talk to you! God fucking robots, man. Long ago, a spaceship was built in the Gothic Laboratory. What? <sighs> the governor is in Pasio. He rules all of Motavia. Okay, but we're not in Motavia. Whatever. You'd think that'd be something that they'd save for an NPC on Motavia to say. This is Palmer's spaceport. From the spaceport, you can go to Pasio on Motavia. That's it? That's the only destination? Okay, that just takes me to Perilid. What are in the shops? This is a first food shop. Let me guess. Yep. That's it. I haven't, I haven't even had to use any cola since I got my heal spell. You can file for a passport here. Do you want a passport? I guess I'll need one, won't I? Have you ever done anything illegal? No. Do you currently have an illness? No. The passport fee is a hundred mesetas. I don't have the money! Oh my fucking god. 
<laughs> Do you have your passport? No, you may not pass. You gotta be kidding me. What's this? Looks like a manhole. Oh, come on, this is so suspicious. Doesn't seem to be anything special about it. <laughs> Fine. Guess I gotta go grind for more money. This game is annoying. Is it just the beginning, or should I expect this kind of bullshit all throughout? Okay, I'm back. Now. Do you want a passport? Yes. Have you done anything illegal? No. Currently have an illness? No. 100 mesetas? Yes. Passport is ready. Here. Ah. <sighs> Now I wonder if that'll like take up an inventory slot for the rest of the game. Along with the road pass. Yes I do. You may proceed. So do I just get on that tiny ship? Or that tiny ship? Or that tiny ship? Or what? Huh. Bound from Otavia. Oh boy. Here we go. I will say it is pretty cool that you get to go to between different planets like this. The closest game I can think of that lets you do something like this is Final Fantasy V. Okay. We're on Motavia. Welcome to the Pasio Spaceport on Motavia. It is said that antlions roam in the desert. Okay. Is that just a normal encounter, or are they special in some way? There is a cake shop in the cave called Nala on Palma. No, isn't... Wait, isn't Nala the cave to the north that I tried going to? That was locked? Yeah. There's a cake shop in there? Let me write that down. Okay, so we got a hospital, three more shops, and a church. Let's check out the shops. Second-hand shop. What do you got? Flashlight, escaper, and passport. No. No. But I, I have a passport already. Do mm -hmm. Is that just in case I accidentally discard my passport? Why can I even do that? Isn't it an important item? Okay. So, I'm looking for the merchant from Pasio that bought the talking beast, right? Meow. You wanna buy something? Sure, what you got? Short sword. Why? Thick fur and diamond armor. I have a, I have an rare animal here. Would you pay one billion Mercedes for it? <laughs> no. I see you have a strange pot. Shall I trade the animal for- Yes! Yes! Alright, there you go with him. We will be fellow travelers. I'm Alice. What's your name? I'm Meow. Meow, have you ever heard of a man named Odin? Yes, but he is turned to stone. If he drinks this medicine, he'll be okay, but I cannot open the bottle. Then why were you left in charge of it? Well then, we'd better go save Odin together, okay? Oh my god, he follows me! Ah. Uh -uh. Meow. Twenty- oh my god, what level are you?
is level one. There's no equipment. Oh god. Austalin? Is that the medicine? Wait, is this all the inventory space I have for all of my characters? If that's the case, I probably shouldn't be carrying around soda. Meow has not learned magic yet. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Well, let's finish looking around the town. What do you say? I sold that Laconian pot for a great deal of money, thanks. Yeah? Now what are you gonna do? Okay. Motavia's governor and Lassic are not on good terms, it is said. Is Lassic on good terms with anyone? You had better not leave the- oh, fuck's sake. Fine, I'll explore the desert later. I'm almost out of time anyway, so wait, what's this? <laughs> what? You're a robot! I... You're both sleeping? Whoa. Listen to this music. Well, I can't open the door. God damn, this place is made out of like solid gold or something. Oh, damn. Okay, let's check out all the houses. This is Pasio, Motavia's capital. Yes, yes, I know, I'm aware. It's not possible to pass through Ant Lion on foot. I thought. You mean an ant lion's den, right? The little hole in the sand that they make? The governor loves sweets, I hear. Okay, governor loves sweets. So I'm probably going to have to get him a cake from the cake shop in Nala Cave. Pasio, governor, likes sweets. And then I'll write cake in parentheses. A gift is needed if you wish to see the governor. Is the governor in that little cave? Oh wait, no, over there. Okay, the cave probably leads to there. There is a cake called Maharu in a mountain to the north of Pasio. Wait, okay. Wait, did you say cake or cave? Cave. Okay, I got cake on the brain now. Maharu Cave. North of Pasio. Some intelligent monsters have their own language. Yeah, I gathered that. Now I wonder if, uh,. If Alice ever dies in combat, will I walk around as Meow? Okay, I guess these people don't care that I have Meow. Bound for Palmer. This sequence takes a while. Really? I need my passport to... <laughs> Whatever. Let's go save Odin. I should be able to protect Meow for as long as he's in the party. Alice ended up becoming so goddamn powerful. Okay, do I have a flashlight still? Yes, I do. Okay. I'm already in over an hour, but I don't care. I must get Odin. Three swarms? That's new.
Or at least Meow starts with the ability to one-shot those things. So at level 1, a tiny cat is stronger than a human. Aw oh, yeah, two party members. And you can bet your ass I'm gonna be doing a shit ton of level grinding between episodes. Trying to get Meow and Odin caught up. Item... Flashlight... Let's go. Boldly go. Straight to where Odin is. I thought this dungeon would be huge at first, but it ended up being really small. Oh, that's interesting. Only the box of an enemy's target appears when they're being attacked. So that's good. Obviously pay attention to who's getting hit. Item, Austalin. Used. Let's take the Austalin. The bottle cap opens and the contents quietly leak out. Okay. Thanks for saving me. I guess if Medusa can stop me, I don't have much hope of killing Lassic, do I? My brother died trying to kill Lassic. Before he died, he told me to seek your help. Is that so? Well, I must not let your brother die unavenged. Do you even know him? Why did you try to kill Medusa? That's a good question. Because Medusa has a mystic axe. Unfortunately, she got away from me. Anyhow, I have stashed a compass in one of the passages of this cave. Let's go and get it. Wait, you did? Where? Are, are you going to point it out to me, or is it going to magically appear when I find it? Or are you honestly expecting me to step in every spot and use the search option? No. Three green slimes. Uh, let's just run. God damn it. Okay, 42 hit points is no way Odin's level 1. Whew, that looks, that looks cool when it happens. How long can that box get? How many enemies can I run into at once? Oh dear. Meow yeah, advanced a level. At least I'm getting a shit ton of money from battles now, but man, do they take a long time. There is a treasure chest. That was not there before. I got this treasure chest. You found Compass. Now, I wonder if I had not gotten that treasure chest before rescuing Odin, if the money that was in that spot before would have been unavailable. Well, I got the compass, that means I can go to Epi Forest next time I get the chance. So, yeah, I did it. I made progress. I got two party members. I visited another planet. I'm actually getting somewhere now. <laughs> I didn't know what I had to do. <laughs> Was keep trying to buy an unbuyable item. So, thank you all so very much for watching. If you liked this episode, leave a like. I'm still just starting out, and every like means a lot to me. And if you want to be notified when I upload more videos, subscribe and you will. And if you want to support me on Patreon, there'll be an end card in the end of the video and a link in the description below, alongside a link to the poll where you can vote for what my next big Let's Play will be after the next one. So, I'll see you all in the next video.
Use the wizard staff. What? You cast it on Furion? Why? Why would you do that? It doesn't give me the choice of choosing who to target. It just targets a random creature. What wizard would use a staff like that? Shield Gorath? 